pieces of left. <coughs> Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, <laughs> but we never surrendered. Can I talk to you? <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Yeah. Well. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. They die, pretty much. <laughs> Whoa. The guy who painted that must have been seriously high. Yeah. It's me, it's me. You've come to take my duality. Wakes from midnight time. I could not see. Sorry. We'll eat for food. Sorry. If I had extra money to give, I would. If I have enough cash left, I... I could get a gift for Claire and Steven. I don't have enough money to we buy... We sell handmade local products. Come take a look. And four dollars and three cents. I don't have money to do anything. This sucks. Did I lock the shop? <laughs> Shit. Definitely not my budget. Nope. I don't want to. Man. It would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. I really don't want to steal a yo-yo. I caught you. Exactly. <laughs> Let's look at another one. <coughs> this one looks like a cactus. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? Damn it. Alright, I can't leave that. I can't get another Jeff. I, I, I knocked on the steel. <laughs> Try to stay out of trouble. Feels kind of weird to spend Christmas here with Claire and Steven. Hey, anyone got some spare change for a young, beautiful, homeless queen? I'm sorry, I'm trying to, um... Oh, what? It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. There's a dollar. There. No time to explore the neighborhood, dude. I don't have money to buy stuff. I really don't. I already gave you money. Shut the freak up. Welcome, kid. Hit Hi, me everybody. We're taking a year off to run cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. 
That's Hi. It. Hope you're doing well. This is a nice collection. <laughs> Why, thank you. I make them all myself. Whoa. Must be a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely too much for the money they get me, yes. Do you have another job? <laughs> Obviously. Wouldn't last a month if I relied on handcrafts to make a living. The mall has ruined every single shop in town. Can't do anything about it, and people seem surprised unemployment is going through the roof. I know. It sucks. But we can't do anything about it. Right? I like to think there's always a solution, however frustrating that thought can be. Anyway... You've got better things to do than listening to an old lady ranting about capitalism, right? That's cool. Don't worry. Well, thanks for hearing me out anyway. You have a nice day. Where's the nativity scene? Jason was supposed to set it up. Damn it. Can't trust you, man. Okay, me. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While he's still busy with Chris. God damn it. I guess I can't process unless I steal that. Because I, I don't have money to do it. I don't have money. Can I, can I borrow some money? Can I borrow like uh, 20 bucks? Please? so many trees how are we gonna find the one god damn it i just i don't got an option now we have three butts now kind of chilly today freaking weather report should have taken an extra layer i I know it sucks, but Daniel deserves it too, right? Kind of chilly today. Freaking weather report. Should have taken an extra look. Wish I could give anything. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Funny how all small towns always sell the same. Holy shit. All right, I did good and I did bad. I, 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 I donated. Is that what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here damn <laughs> poor kid sorry I'm I'm just a grumpy old gal <laughs> me and my friends have been crashing here for the week nobody gives a shit about us yeah I can tell you're not from around here now we are kinda that sounds Complicated. Trauma? Yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop. On trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. 
Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually <laughs> wow. got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Uh, ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Aw. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool. I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? <laughs> hey, wow. no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? We're gonna drop it, cause I don't want to get, not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. We don't They're want in trouble. Pretty. Just want to say something. So cool. Hey, hey, what? Sorry, getting. Tired of these parasites, if you know what I mean. Uh, not really. Just tired of lazy people, you know? Just waiting for useless governments to feed them. Hey, you look smart. You should check this out. It's not conspiracy stuff. Huh, swear. Hmm. Thanks. Glad to see some millennials who care about this country. We care. I don't know. I see a lot of whining snowflakes. Nobody wants to work. Like those punks you were with. They're nothing but trouble. You better be careful. I don't know. They're not hurting anyone. They live differently. That's all. 
Plus, your music was really beautiful. It's great to live off your talents, but come on. They're not achieving anything. Hey man, you got a dollar? Is not fighting the power. This is why our country is broken. Deadbeats. You don't know anything about them. You're just judging them. No, I'm judging their actions. They don't deserve this country. Well, it's their country too. Okay, smartass. I see where this is going. As usual. Sorry to bug you. Hey, um, no worries. I don't mind talking about that stuff. Good luck with, um, uh, everything. I was just gonna tell Did you see that? Unfucking believable. Yeah, always the same thing with these people. I wasn't such a jerk teenager. Was I? You're the same way. Seems like Charles is waiting for us. We should get going. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. It wouldn't let me pass along without getting him a gift, so... If I would had more money, I would have gladly, um... Bought something for him. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? You're cool. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. Yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. <laughs> he gave me some tips. You two seem to get along well. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. I, I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris <laughs> deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. I got to say. Claire and Steven seemed a bit worried about you guys. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seemed to care about Chris. 
But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Hi, right, Daniel. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? They're not home yet. Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. Oh, that's you pretty should cool. see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? Yeah? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. Yeah. yeah, buddy. I know it's mom's. Please. Can't. Yeah. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. No. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. No. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. Uh. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. <sighs> Just cut the ties, man. What do you need to do? Just cut the ties. I, I've been this with my father. I didn't know my father, so... We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. Yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Probably their bedroom. I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. We clearly don't share politics, but at least, yeah, not much to see in here. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Sean, hurry up! I'm looking, shut the freak up! Clothes, old stuff. <sighs> Definitely no hidden key. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Ah. Yeah, no. No. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. That's odd. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <sighs> it 
Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <laughs> Still super cute, though. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Yep. Definitely not the one. Way too small. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Got a little key. Lock. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute, but still, no key here. What was Claire doing in that room? Maybe she put the key in her pocket. Uh, what was she wearing yesterday? Oh, lovely. Love it on the bed. It's up here. Would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had time. That would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. Small town hero starter pack. Oh, shit. Wish I had the chance to find my thing, too. Sh Sean! What's taking so long? Oh, I can't find the key, Daniel. Then search better. Look at my dude, I'm looking. Where's the laundry at? Oh, where they keep the laundry at? Let's look at the hamper. This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. I gotta find a way to open that door. Or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. I gotta find it first. I don't know where else to look. Shit. These are Christmas presents. Sean, it's now or never, I swear. Don't open the store without your help. If you don't hurry up. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Yeah, not much to see in here. All right. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. Really don't want you to do it. Oh, wait. Search. Yes. Got it. Found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. <clears throat> wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put? 
put the rest of her stuff. It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened? Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. <laughs> Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left? I don't know, and I know. I wish I could answer that. Okay. I think it's not plugged. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven... What the fuck is wrong with this? Oh, hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. So, Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? Fall Town Blues. Yeah, I got two things. I didn't go to Snowman. I didn't do that. I didn't do that right, I guess. I didn't do that right. Hmm. So that's how mom used to smell? I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. Why would they remove all the Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. All right. You. Hey, Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like. the hero? I guess. So cool. Is that an amethyst? She was into new age bullshit. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? These pictures are so random. Yeah, you finally left forever. Coward. And he really hates his mom. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. 
We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. And then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Daniel just wanted to see the room. Yeah, I did. Sean, don't shift the blame to your brother. You're supposed to be the adult. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed, she just feels guilty. I can't fear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just gonna change around here if you wanna stay. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Hey. Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Up together. We got this. Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Stephen. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it. One, two, three. Hold on. My leg. Almost there. Come on. Oh, my baby. <sighs> Thank you. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. Please don't say that. It's, it's the sheriff. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. They were spotted at the Christmas market earlier today. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. 
I wish you could stay here with us. Thanks, Grandma. We're gonna miss you. I'll stop that. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go up. shit going on here. Wait, uh, camera fell on? Oh shit! Try to keep the fading secret and it ends up getting Chris hurt. Or Captain Spirit. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't want to make him believe it, but it also Why? didn't want the truth coming out. Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. You... I hope so. You said I should be more careful. But, because of you, I didn't do anything, and I could have. Hey, you don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <sighs> you didn't even let me check on him. Because... What if he is... He's fine. Dead. No. You could see the car slow down before. So, Chris will be fine. Trust me. You... You promise? Yes. Promise. Sean. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power. If you don't want to. I know, but... Sometimes... I can help, and... How do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts. And... Listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know either. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so 
Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. We're gonna meet our friends. I bet you money. To be continued, of course. Episode two, the rules. Spirits. No choices to pair with. Alright. So. Here you all know all my choices. Oh, I don't know how. Pop didn't chase you and Chris helped you. I don't know how the. How I changed that, but okay. All right. Have a preview of next episode. Yep. Experience and honor for work. Do for work. So this is it. Yeah. It looks like a nettle field, and it stinks. Yeah, and your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They <laughs> don't! Come on. I'll show you around. I, I already said that. I knew that we were going to go with her. Alright, so the next of the police, play the selectable mode to explore different phases without affecting your current progress. Okay. So that was episode two, guys. I hope you everyone enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's still not as good as the first season of Life is Strange, but maybe it'll get better. I do, I do enjoy it. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, and if you did, uh, also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably Resident Evil. Alright, peace.